This video is going to show you how to apply an email filter in Gmail with the goal of creating a filter that teachers can use so that it sorts emails that are sent from students with an attachment. For example, if a student were to send you a paper they're trying to turn in or a photo they're turning in, it will sort those into a separate folder so that they don't clog up your inbox if you have a whole bunch of students turning something in at once. So after logging in, you're going to click on the gear up in the corner, the settings, and go down to the word settings. Then you'll see a bunch of blue words up at the top. You're going to select filters and go down to the bottom or blue in blue words it says create a new filter. In the from spot you're going to write the ending of your student emails. So for my school it is at rpsstudents.org. You may have a different one. It's whatever label your students have on theirs. And then check the box that says has attachment. By clicking this box only messages from students that have an attachment with them will be sent to this filter. Other ones will show up in your normal inbox. Then you select skip the inbox and apply the label that you have chosen. I'm choosing the homework label. If you don't know how to create labels you can check out my other video on how to create a label. If you want to, you may also apply a category to it. I don't use those, but some people like to use those. And then I also check the box for apply matching conversations. So conversations that um, are already included can be added to this filter. And then click create filter. And it'll take a little bit of time for it to process. It'll say it's creating your filter. And then everything will show up. Um, under your homework filter or whichever label you gave it. So it says it's my filter was created and then it'll open this window that shows it was created. And it says that anything with the ending at rpsstudents.org and has an attachment will skip the inbox and go to the homework folder. So once you've done that you are done and you can check to make sure that it works by having a student send you an email with an attachment. When you go to your inbox, it shouldn't show up there at all. But then if you go down to the label that you created, mine is the homework folder, you click on that, and they should all show up underneath that label. Notice that I have created this filter specifically so that if a student sends me an email that does not include an attachment, it will still go to my inbox as normal. That way if a student emails me with a question, I will get that email in my normal inbox and it won't be missed because it's sent to the homework folder. 